Smart grid communication infrastructure consists of three distinct categories of networks. As shown in the figure, smart grid networks can be classified into home area networks, HANs, neighborhood area networks, NANs, and wide area networks, WANs. HANs concentrate on small-scale data communication between devices in smart houses. In a HAN, data may include metering data, on-demand electricity billing, and home energy displays. For HANs, wireless sensor networks, WSNs, such as the IEEE 802.15.4 ZigBee can be suitable for improving energy efficiency and prolonging network lifetime. A WAN connects NAN data concentrators and smart grid control centers. WANs use high-speed data transfers to control operations over large areas. In addition, a WAN can serve as the backbone system combining HANs with NANs. For the aforementioned reasons, wireless technologies such as 3G, Ethernet, WiMAX, and 3GPP are popular WAN building blocks. NANs can provide a communication backbone between HANs and the substations of an electrical company. NANs can provide electric power substation surveillance and condition monitoring and management. Typically, HANs will volunteer information to the NAN periodically, but a server can send a request packet to demand information. NANs have characteristics that differ from those of conventional wireless networks. To supply high quality of service COS, for time-critical data, a NAN must distinguish between numerous types of data. The commercial nature of a NAN also necessitates high reliability. Typically, servers are flooded with large numbers of data packets sent from NAN nodes. Wireless mesh networks can be easily deployed and can provide high-speed transmission of NAN packets to central servers.